for local chickens so I decided to go big this year allow me to take you through the whole setup of this farm of course we are doing local chickens on a large scale but locally set up It's one of my longer time dreams and one of my resolutions is this year. <laughs> it's a new year, 2023. New farm, new local ideas about local chickens. Mze Chicks is my name. Always call me World Best Chicken Dad. I'm here with the good news today and I'm begging you guys to give me a backup as I develop this farm. Of course, we are developing this farm and our aim and our aim is to do local chickens on a large scale. It's a pure local chicken farm but we have been doing it on a small scale. But this time around, we want to do it on a large scale. Ah, and our target this year is to reach 10,000 pure local chickens. So guys, since we are doing local chickens, so we are doing everything in our very own local way. The setup, everything, it will be in our very own local way. So. Expect to see lots of local ideas of doing local chickens on this farm. And any other thing, I'll be welcoming your advices here and there. That will help me in the developing of this farm. As you know very well, we are doing our own local chickens. Uh, and our target this year is to reach 10,000 birds. We have to do emphasis on the following things as I always tell you uh, of course first of all we have to stock we have to stock our birds uh, though we have our birds but they are few in number so we have to add on the stock currently we have like a 50 but we want to make them 150 birds to start with we know very well these uh, 150 birds will help us to multiply very, very fast to meet our number, the 10,000 birds. So, stocking, stocking is already considered. Then, another thing considered in this journey, of course, after stocking, uh, we consider how to multiply. So, with the multiplying, of course, we've, we're going to use here two systems. We're going to use synchronized hatching and we shall be doing our artificial hatching. But with this artificial hatching, of course, we are making our very own local incubator, uh, the so-called sand based incubator that will help us also to multiply our birds very fast that one is done then any other thing we have to consider breeding our day or the chicks and with the breeding our day or the chicks of course we shall be receiving quite a number of chicks at once from our very own homemade incubator and the and from synchronized hatching. So we expect to be receiving uh, not less than 500 chicks at once. 500 to 1,000 chicks. So with this one, I have already planned it wisely. And as I tell you always, that 
as we are doing local chickens, let us try to cut these costs uh, so that we can increase on profits on our birds. So, uh, with brooding, uh, we shall be use our very own setup where there will be no need of heat or light. And behind me, as you're seeing, that's our setup. This is our setup, as you're seeing. I've already, uh, I've already set these brooding chambers. Uh, they will accommodate 1,000 chicks at once. You've already watched this kind of brooding, so that's the kind. That's the way we're going to brood our day old chicks. This is our brooding room. As you see, uh, let me hope you've already watched this kind of setting uh, where there is no need of extra heat. Uh, no need of light at night apart from daylight. So this is the kind or oh, this is our setup. This is the brooding system we're going to use. Of course, as you seeing uh, around their boxes, these boxes you seeing here covered with the jute sacks. Uh, that's where our chicks will be covered at night or during coldness. Uh, that's where our chicks will be covered. Then, as you see, these boxes have a way through connected to the run. In, in the middle here, this is our run uh, where our chicks will be feeding and drinking water from. After eating and drinking, of course, we have to chase them back to warm right from the other boxes you see covered with the juta sacks. Uh, there's nothing much in those boxes uh, apart from the hair, the dry grass. We insulated them with the hair, the dry grass, then covered on top with a juta sack, also compacted with the hair. So, as our chicks will be there and we cover them right from there, they will be warmed. Uh, I think you've already proved that this kind of brooding works because uh, this is not my first video to show you this kind of brooding. So, a hundred percent, we expect results from this kind of brooding. So, that's the way. We're going to be brooding our chicks. As I told you, it accommodates 1,000 chicks. So we shall be brooding our chicks right from this place. No need of extra expenses. We are trying to do everything in our very own local way uh, so that we can cut costs and we increase on profits. So with brooding, it's done. As you see in our room, it's well organized, uh, clean place. As you see in the floor, uh, locally set up. So that's the way we're going to do our brooding right here on this big farm. Uh, you may be wondering what we're going to do with the floor. Of course, we're going to add litter on the floor. Uh, maybe we shall be using coffee hassocks or wudu shavings on the floor inside the boxes here in the run and the, the hall of this place. Any other thing you will be wondering uh, that is it is it possible to raise a thousand birds in the in the in, in, in the center there? Uh, it's not possible. But uh, this setup, of course, we shall stay with the run in the middle there uh, for one week to two weeks. 
uh, when it reaches maybe two weeks, of course, uh, the number will be already, they will be occupied that place. So what we will have to do, we shall be removing the run, we shall be lifting away the boxes in the middle there, and then we stay just with these uh, warming boxes, these warming boxes you see. Uh, where our cheeks, where our cheeks will be warming at night. Then the rest of this place, as you see, the rest of this room will be used for these cheeks to move around for feeding and drinking. <laughs> Guys, uh, as we move on, let me try to show you our hatching room we are planning, our hatching room we are preparing. Uh, it is still under preparation is, as you see, uh, we are still preparing it. Uh, it's divided into three. It has this section here where uh, our each better will be the one you seeing there <laughs> uh, it's a homemade inch better uh, you seeing it uh, the this very room is divided into other rooms you seeing this door here uh, it will be a door through that will be also connecting to this section then any other door right there it will be also connecting to this section. Uh, this is where our boys will be staying. One in the other room, then another the one in the other room also. But both will be connecting to this section where there is our inch better. So it will be very easy for them to, uh, to control our inch better. As you know very well, we are using a manual inch better homemade and we are making it right from here so we shall go near there and i try to show you how we are making uh, this incubator Guys, on this very note, I will give my credit to my team. Uh, as you seeing everything, the whole setup uh, is done. Uh, we are doing it with my team. Uh, we have Adam the Carpenter. Then we have Alafa Alafa, also one of my team. As I tell you always that when I'm with these people, uh, I'll be having a full army. Everything, this innovation is you seeing, the incubator, the brooding chambers, uh, our laying nests, our patches, all um, trying to do them together with this team. So I call it a winning team, a winning team. So. Let us go closer uh, to our inch better. As you see on top, uh, you see our kerosene lamps on top. Uh, so you just know that we are making a, a kerosene lamp inch better. So let us go closer and I show you how we are trying to make it. Seeing it, let us see what's inside. Uh, 
are you seeing inside <laughs> now this size of incubator it's 800 eggs capacity so as you seeing these are our trays that will hold the our eggs you see my things are simple you see uh, you see down there that's where our our kerosene lamps will be and we've already tried to light one and we see whether we can meet the temperatures and it's promising we are yet to meet the temperatures uh, this is the stand that will hold the our trays yeah uh, whether you're planning to do local chickenies on a free range or semi-intensively of course you have to consider shelter shelter is very very important uh, when you thinking or when you try to think about doing doing local chickens of course as i told you here we're going to do uh, what we call semi intensive we shall be doing on a free range at the same time our birds will be also feeding indoor part of the day so uh, shelter is very very important of course you know very well uh, even if your birds will be on free range they should have somewhere to, to rest at night so shelter is very very important as you're seeing here uh, this is our structure where our birds will be it's a bit tall as you're seeing it and as I told you it accommodates 10,000 birds inside here in our breeding pen uh, you see these are our laying nests very simple we are having three we are having three this one here we have another one there then we have one right there we shall be using these three laying nests i tried to design it in the, this way so that uh, it will be a safe place for them to it will be a safe place for them to lay their eggs i will use her in this laying boxes where where our birds where our birds will be laying so we shall be putting her inside here i use her it's easy to get then another thing it works well for me that's why you see always i use her uh, even in my hatching nests so we shall be using her in these laying boxes and in our hatching boxes our birds will be staying here will be staying here and they will be laying right from here for us we shall be just correcting our laid eggs from here and then we take we we keep them until we shall be taking them where we shall be setting uh, where we shall be setting our chickens to sit on their eggs as i told you the next room here that's where i'm setting our chickens where they will be sitting on their eggs we shall be practicing synchronized hatching as i told you yes uh, guys in this very room those are our patches where our birds will be roasting at night as you know very well they like roasting upwards so that's the way i tried to design our patches very simple but it looks nice guys finally we are here finally we are here and this is our hatching room uh, this is the room i'm trying to set up where our chickens will be sitting on their eggs as you seeing it uh, it's a bit different from the first room uh, of course here we don't have patches uh, then any other thing you see my hatching nests are a bit different from the other laying boxes you see these ones are 
on the floor. I place them on the floor. I give it a pattern in the front, as you see, that will enable our birds to be to sit on their eggs comfortably. And as you see here, this is the floor. Of course, we have just to add here a little, little uh, where our chickens will be uh, cooling their bodies on the floor here. Uh, my plan is uh, we shall not, uh, once our chickens will be set here on eggs, no more moving outside. So that's why we shall be having uh, feeds right in this very place, water in this very place uh, from the eggs, eating, feeding, uh, maybe cooling the bodies, then they go back. So this is the way I'm trying to arrange this hatching row. So far, I have two rows um, of hatching. I have two rows of hatching and nests. Uh, this one, this side, and then another the one on the other side. Uh, so far, at first, we shall be uh, starting with the 25 chickens, setting them on their eggs at the same time. So with the time we shall be adding more uh, hatching boxes right in this very room. As you see, our structure uh, it lacks nets around. It lacks nets around, but as I told you, we are still under construction or we are still under setting. Uh, we shall be practicing uh, synchronized hatching. At the same time, we shall be hatching our eggs in the other homemade incubator. With the time, guys, I know we shall reach the number of birds we want in this very year. That's the arrangement. I'll be keeping on updating you guys our progress let us end here for today the chicks sign out <laughs>